Are you looking for a career change or growth? If you like to take a decision for your career and life goals, now would be a good time. This is your life and career, and you will be investing your blood, sweat, and tears for many years. Making the right career choice will bring with joy, energy, and passion for what you do. After all, as the saying goes, if you enjoy your work, you will never work a day in your life. So today, I'm going to share about the top 10 in demand jobs of this brand new year and for the years to come. While there are worries of an imminent recession, one thing is certain that the employment rates will remain quite high. Because according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the overall employment rate near the end of 2022 was nearly 95%. For people of age 55 and above, the rate was even higher clocking in at just 98%. What those numbers tell us is that many employers are hungry to hire, especially for the roles which I am going to tell you today. With these highest paying and fastest growing jobs, you will be able to decide on what skills you have that can be adapted to break into the industry. You have the best chance of getting hired if you are pursuing any one of these 10 careers. Majority of them pay more than $100,000 a year. While some require no college degree, some have online courses, and some allow you to work from home. Hey everyone, you are already watching The Interview Guy, and here we are with the list of top 10 paying jobs of this year. If you love watching videos like this, then do hit the subscribe button, you'll never miss an update. So let's explore and learn about them one by one, starting with the 10th position, which is Network Security Specialist. Did you know that the global annual cost of cybercrime is estimated to be $6 trillion per year? Also, cyber crimes have grown by over 600% since the pandemic. As the cost of security breach is excessively high, this is rather a lucrative job opportunity. So if there ever was a time to get into a network security job, it is now. While some employers prefer applicants with MBAs, a bachelor degree in computer science or a related field qualifies you for this job. Network security professionals are expected to secure the internal data of companies as well as their clients and partners by coming up with solutions that prevent cyber attacks. This job might hit the spot for you if you love computers and problem solving. Using a brilliant combination of logic and creativity, they assess security issues companies might face and develop defense plans. They also implement protections such as firewalls and data encryption programs to keep identities and financial information safe from hackers. For a network security specialist, one must have an in-depth understanding of networking, system administration, and the ability to anticipate security breaches. A strong understanding of operating systems such as Windows, Mac, Linux, programming languages, and the mindset of an ethical hacker are an added advantage. The job is as cool as it sounds, and you will be making around $100,000 per year in the US, almost 10 lakh rupees per year in India, and 12 lakh rupees in Pakistan. At the ninth position, we have is machine learning engineer. And according to LinkedIn, hiring of a machine learning engineer grew by 32% in the last three years, with more and more companies investigating machine learning as a way to protect their businesses from future disruptions, the demand for machine learning engineers is still shooting up. Machine learning engineers need a minimum of a bachelor's degree in computer science or a related field. While machine learning engineers' work duties vary from industry to industry, they design, develop, and test self-learning software to control technological tools including computers, robots, to automate models that are predicted. They are frequently involved in putting machine learning algorithms into action and experiment with AI systems that allow machines to identify the trends or patterns in the programming data. And as a self-contained unit, the machine then teaches itself to understand commands or even to think for itself. The skills required for becoming a full-time machine learning engineer are data modeling, programming languages, probability, algorithm design, and artificial intelligence. In the United States, the average annual compensation for an experienced machine learning engineer is $147,000 per year, around 8 lakh rupees in India and 10 lakh rupees per year in Pakistan. Following that, at the 8th position we have nurse practitioners. And according to Business Insider report, nurse practitioners are going to be the most in-demand jobs for this year because quality healthcare is one of the most valued professions in the future. They are the backbone of our health system, so it's no wonder the number of nurses we will need in the next five years will skyrocket. The most common entry to this career is through Bachelor of Nursing. And once you get your master's degree, get ready for the companies to start pursuing. However, you will need to complete one more step 
a state license and a national APR and certification for the states in which you plan to work. Nurse practitioners can perform many of the tasks that doctors do, such as creating treatment plans for patients, managing medical histories, and supervising other registered nurses. They provide primary and even special health care services, but the big difference is that they cannot prescribe medications in most states. As a nurse, one must have the ability to diagnose, educate, and communicate with patients. They should have all-round general knowledge of the latest medical practices and the ability to convert medical research into practice. It's a no surprise that this heroic career has stayed in the top 10 for the last couple of years. If you are in the US, you can expect to bring home about $112,000 per year and be honored as a person saving lives. For Pakistan and India, the average salary is between 4 to 5 lakh rupees per year. Next, up at the seventh position is blockchain engineer. Let's start with the blockchain technology, which is a digital ledger of all the cryptocurrency transactions across all peer-to-peer -peer networks. And this blockchain technology is different from any other traditional transactional methods which are centralized and controlled by certain governments and groups. But this blockchain is a decentralized one, which means that this is not subject to the control of any single entity or group. Research has predicted that from year 2020 to 2030, the market size for blockchain technology will scale at a compound annual growth rate of 85%. No wonder, blockchain has made it to the list of the most in-demand jobs for this year. This technology that powers new age cryptocurrency and banking application has a massive growth potential in the next decade or so. Blockchain engineers designs and implement the technology that makes cryptocurrencies work. They are responsible for developing new features and improving existing functionality on Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other leading cryptocurrency platform. They are also involved in designing the security and the architecture of the proposed blockchain system that can be used for the centralizing or decentralizing the data. They also develop both front-end and back-end technology according to the blockchain protocols. This field is emerging and many fresh developments are being made on a daily basis, which means it has a tremendous growth potential as the demand for blockchain resources is higher than the supply. One should possess an in-depth knowledge of programming languages, cryptography, blockchain architectures, databases, and network. The annual average salary of a blockchain engineer is between 7 to 10 lakh rupees per year in India and Pakistan. And if you are living in the US, you can expect to bring home $120,000 per year. Following that, in the sixth position is web developer. So whenever you see a website and wonder how someone made it, well, you are looking at the work of a web developer. It is a hybrid job that requires you to be both creative and structured. Your layouts and designs are all held together with organized files and codes. Web developers make sure the websites function properly while updating them to include new functions that make them easier to use. Many of these positions can be done remotely and one of the things that you will love about working as a web developer is self-employment. You could maintain your own clients and run your own business. And let's not forget the work from home anywhere factor. Any internet connection has the potential to be your office. As a web developer, you will be involved in planning, designing and maintaining a site that meets specific needs of your client. Though the exact skills needed for someone in this profession will vary by the company and the business. But the overall skill set that developers need are the same. One must have the knowledge of programming languages, graphic designing, search engine optimization and operating systems, along with the ability of testing and debugging. If you are just starting out, don't be afraid to make some websites for free so you can establish your credibility and examples of your skills. However, the first website you should build is for yourself. Don't take this lightly. Your clients will look at your website as an example of your best work. The average annual salary for a web developer is $80,000 in US, 9 lakh rupees in India, and 11 lakh rupees per year in Pakistan. At the fifth position we have is project management, and about 89% of the organizations now have at least one project management office, and 50% have more than one. This is because project managers add tremendous value to an organization by making sure that all the resources are utilized in the most efficient way. The role of a project manager is a mix of many aspects like people management, technical troubleshooting, leadership, and planning. Project managers are needed on a wide variety of projects including construction, 
IT, HR and marketing. Project managers generally need to have a bachelor's degree in computer science or business as well as several years of experience in the relevant line of work. Many project managers also choose to pursue a project management professional certification. They determine and define project scope and objectives and are responsible for planning and overseeing projects to ensure that they are completed in a timely fashion within the budget. They keep the stakeholders informed about the project resources, budgets, costs, and track the progress the entire way. Project managers utilize industry best practices throughout the entire project execution. And to lead a successful project, a project manager needs to be skilled in almost all of the fields, from tech to HR, from marketing to construction, and everything else in between. It is a complex but rewarding field. Generally, they must have a solid understanding of risk management, strategic development, and the ability to make decisions under pressure. A project manager also needs to have great social and communication skills as well. Their duties will range from being a team leader, a supervisor, and a co-worker all at the same time. They will also be the first person that the team goes to whenever there are any problems regarding the project. The average annual salary for a project manager in the United States of America is $93,000 per year, around 8 lakh rupees per year in India and 11 lakh rupees in Pakistan. At the fourth position, we have market analysts. Market analysis is a crucial process while launching a product or improving existing outcomes. Further, it keeps you ahead in the competition from others. Market analysts are responsible for studying the market conditions to assess the potential sales of products and services. They analyze data, trends, strategies, and competition of market segments or campaigns aiming at increasing competitiveness. They assist businesses to determine what products are in demand, who will purchase the products, and the price they are willing to pay. They formulate a plan and devise methods for collecting data through surveys, questionnaire, opinion polls, and remain fully informed on market trends, other parties' researches, and implement the best practices. To be a successful marketing analyst, one must have advanced data collection, analysis, reporting, and forecasting skills. Ability to work on Microsoft Excel is very important to work on all the stages. Now coming to the salary. Market analyst salaries vary by experience, industry, organization, size, and geography. The average annual salary of a market analyst in US is $62,000, 5 lakh rupees per year in India, and 7 lakh rupees in Pakistan. So on the third position, we have digital marketers. Digital marketing is a newer job in the age of social media and internet. Almost every single industry needs digital marketers in order to stay relevant on today's society. Therefore, it draws young people with the potential to learn and grow. Before the pandemic, digital marketing was just a small part of the marketing mix for most companies. But after the pandemic, almost all the marketing is digital marketing now. Due to its proven benefits, like correct attribution to channels, and the option to course correct during a campaign over traditional marketing channels. A digital marketer should have a bachelor's degree in marketing or business, but they do not necessarily need to have several years of experience. The digital marketer is responsible for a large portion of the business online presence, whether they are focused on social media or website development. They conduct social media audits to ensure best practices are being used. Digital marketers prepare emails to send out to customers to ensure that the brand message is consistent. They maintain digital dashboard of several social media platforms and monitor key online marketing metrics to track the performance and success. But one should have the ability to manage a content management system and coordinate with the sales team in order to create marketing campaigns. A thorough understanding of search engine optimization the right keywords and social media platforms is mandatory. The average annual salary of a digital marketer is $60,000 per year in US, around 6 lakh rupees per year in India, and 8 lakh rupees in Pakistan. Then at the second position is financial management. A financial manager is responsible for handling the accounts of businesses and companies, a role which is gaining popularity after the pandemic. Usually, the financial management careers require at least a bachelor's degree in finance and accounting, but CA or ACCA is also a plus. You typically will need several years of experience to qualify for one of these jobs. Investment both personal 
and organizational is coming up as a huge sector in the near future. Financial management jobs are thus gaining significance. A financial manager is expected to manage the investment portfolio of a company and invest judiciously and with intent, thereby creating wealth for the company. It is a critical job profile that requires consistency and in-depth knowledge of finance and accounting. Finance managers analyze everyday financial activities and provide advice and guidance to upper management on future financial plans. They are the root of all major business decisions and their role is crucial to the success of any organization. Finance managers may be employed in many different environments, including both public and private sector organizations. They also operate in a variety of industries such as banking, finance, healthcare, and insurance. Their typical duties include reviewing financial reports, monitoring accounts, and preparing financial statements. Financial managers also investigate different methods to improve profitability and analyze markets for business opportunities such as expansion, mergers, and acquisitions. They must have an advanced knowledge in accounting, economics, finance, as well as several years of experience in a finance role with excellent business communication, presentation, and risk management skills. The average annual salary of a financial manager is $103,000 per year in the US, 7 lakh rupees in India, and 10 lakh rupees per year in Pakistan. And now at the top position we have is data scientist. Haven't you heard yet? Data is the new gold, and the gold rush it has created in the job market isn't going away soon. In fact, According to the Business Insider, data science jobs will continue to be relevant all the way up to year 2030. So, do you have a natural ability to absorb information, mentally digest it, figure out what it means, and communicate what you have learned in a way that other people can understand? If yes, then you might be perfect as a data scientist. Our technology-loving culture is exponentially producing more and more data and information. Therefore, companies are using that data to improve efficiency, profitability, and be more successful. But it takes an analytical brain, computer skills, and passion for raw data to translate into information that can be understood and acted on. And that is how data scientists have earned the first spot on today's list of best jobs of this year. Being a data scientist, you should expect to spend most of your time in an office setting. However, it is possible to find a remote work in this field. You will need at least a bachelor's degree in mathematics, statistics, computer science, business, or engineering. So what does a data scientist do? Their job description calls for gathering data through various means such as surveys, organizational database, and identify which types of data is worth gathering. After that, they verify the accuracy of the data, leading towards compilation and organization. Once the data collection is complete, they analyze the organized data and explain the results in a simplified way so others can understand by using visual aids with charts and graphs. Finally, they make recommendations based on the results of the findings. To be a successful data analyst, one must have an advanced data collection, analysis, reporting, and forecasting skills. Ability to work on Microsoft Excel and several coding languages is an added advantage. Now talking about the salary, the average annual salary of a data scientist is $150,000 in the US, 10 lakh rupees in India, and 13 lakh rupees in Pakistan. So with that, we come to the end of the list. Use this list of best jobs for this year analyze which careers have a future and choose your path accordingly. Don't just choose one of these careers because it pays well or your parents think it's a good fit for you. There is a way you can find out if your personality fits one of these careers. Take a free career assessment test for your work personality and strengths in a working environment to see the list of careers that fits you the best. This will guide you to your best career. You can find the link in the description below. And if you want a detailed report about the careers that fit you and your personality, you can check out the premium membership as well. On that note, let me know in the comment section which career you are pursuing right now and which one you like the most from today's list of best jobs of this year. If you want to take note of the quick career changing guide, you can check out the link over here. I hope this video was helpful and I wish you all the very best. Before I sign off, make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. I will be back with more of such interesting videos. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned on The Interview Guy.